we are going to be talking about gear today. I've already done a helmet tour. I've talked about all my gloves during a Twitch stream. And today I kind of feel like talking about my jackets. I think I'm going to go through them um, in order of when I got them. So chronological order and kind of tell you what I love about them, what I don't love about them, if I would get it again. I think I have like five jackets, maybe more, but um, I've also been writing for five years. So let's let's just check it out. This is the first jacket I ever got. I got it at a pawn shop and I love it. I can't believe I had such good luck to get this jacket in my size. It is a Stella, which is Alpine Star's women's line. So it was really important for me when I started writing that I looked like a girl because I just want to feel, I still want to feel beautiful when I'm on my bike. And this jacket helped me do that. I feel like the lines in the design of this jacket are very flattering for like a woman's shape. And it has this cool feature. That cool feature on the side right there, like you can cinch it up around your waist, however it makes sense to fit. For me, um, I was able to fit into, this is an extra small, because I have like, my hips are a little lower and um, my chest isn't huge, so. I know like for other ladies who have tried on this jacket, if their hips are higher and if like, like if their hips are higher or their boobs are bigger, then this jacket just like doesn't fit around them. And one tip for girls, if you're trying on a jacket and you want it to be like a fitted jacket, instead of trying to zip it up while it's like, while it's at your hips like this, cause this is gonna be a lot tighter, I would recommend like pulling up the jacket around your waist because then it's a lot looser because your waist is smaller usually and then zipping it up there and then pulling it down okay another thing i just thought of that i love about this jacket is that it does fit my phone in the pocket you see that that's amazing not all motorcycle jackets allow you to do that all right, I love that Alpine Stars jacket so much that I got another Alpine Stars jacket. This is my leather jacket. It's the Alpine Stars Stella Vica. Um, I'll need to check what size it is, but this is the best leather jacket, period. I I love it. It uh, fits really well. It's, again, flattering. Like, I look like a girl in this jacket. Um, the leather is so soft. It's like butter. And it's got me through a couple crashes not bad crashes but um yeah it's it has protected my skin going down this has a back insert a back protector insert which i use the same back protector for both of my alpine star jackets because i'm not ever wearing both of the jackets at the same time and it also has the elbow and shoulder protection it the pocket does not fit a phone unfortunately so when I am writing, I put my phone in this inner pocket, which works, but it's kind of annoying. This neck section right here is soft and it works and it's comfortable. Sometimes this section of a jacket can get really annoying if it just doesn't work, but this works fine. This also comes in kind of like a, like a silver-ish, goldish, like metallic color if you're into that. So those first two Alpine Stars jackets I've had for a long time. Those were like the two jackets, the only two jackets that I had for a really long time. And I love them. This is the next jacket I got. What do you think? Does it remind you of Kill Bill? Because I literally got a picture of the movie cover, showed it to a sweet Vietnamese lady in Hoi An and had her copy the jacket. So it's like a direct ripoff of that jacket. Um, yes, I got this custom made in Vietnam when I was there on my honeymoon and I love it. I had her make a little pocket in the back to put in it a back protector. But besides that, it's not specifically any kind of special motorcycle jacket. It will protect me because it is real leather. Um, and I would definitely wear this instead over wearing nothing. But I had to have it. 
I think if I would design this again, I would make it a little shorter. Again, this is like a thing with girls' jackets. You have to account for like the width of your hips at on the bottom half of your jacket. That's why I think a lot of women's jackets have like a cut that's shorter so that your hips can do what they want. Then in 2019, 2020, I modeled for Revit and I became a huge fan of their gear. So I got myself this jacket. It's uh, just another textile jacket and I like it. It's uh, a little bit looser fitted than my Alpine Stars one, which is nice. And it's white. So this is like actually full cooling effect. I don't want to be hot when I'm wearing this jacket. Phone check, fits my phone in the pocket. Has all the features that you would expect on a textile jacket. And uh, yeah, what more can I say? I like it. Then after modeling for Revit, I modeled for Indian motorcycle. And check this out. This is an Indian motorcycle jacket. Did you see that? It is Indian motorcycle branded. This is the jacket that I wore on the shoot. So if you see pictures of me riding the 2022 FTR um, 1200, this is a jacket I was wearing. They let me keep it and I love it. Oh, it smells good. It's still new to me. I haven't worn it out that much. The only thing that kind of bugs me about this jacket is that these stripes are not white. And I think that's by design. They wanted it to have kind of like a creamy, like dirty, not dirty, but like worn look. This is a Indian motorcycle extra small. I feel like their women's gear in general just runs a little big. I don't know if it's because it's American brand or whatever, but the extra small fit for me. And same with all their apparel. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the next two are suits. They're sets, so top and bottom. And I think that's it. So yeah, I'm most excited about the suits. This is my favorite looking jacket. It's awesome. It's from Revit. It's the Luna jacket. Unfortunately, it's discontinued. I think it was from like the 2019 line, but I think it's my favorite jacket, leather jacket that they've made. And I just love the sleek black look. You know how I am. I just like classic black, sleek, no extra like tackiness. I think I maybe ordered slightly small for the top or my arms are disproportionately long. I think I could have gone with like a size up. But this is kind of designed in the same way as the Indian jacket where this right here is stretchy, but it lets in all the air. So it's nice if you want to stay cool. But if you're trying to not get cold, then you're going to need another wind protecting layer underneath it. But let's be real, most people don't ride when it's that cold. And then this zips into my pants that go with this, the Luna pants. I'm not going to put them on right now, but I have pictures. Oh, one design feature I really like about this is this reflective tape that goes all along the back, like the spine of the jacket. That whole section is reflective. And then I love the stitching detail, the quilted leather right here, this accordion stretch panel that is actually functional, and the soft wrists. But yeah, great jacket and even better with the pants. This is my last jacket. It's my most recent acquisition. I got it kind of as an impulse pur purchase because I saw it at Bellissimo just hanging up on the rack and I knew I needed it. Um, what do you think about the colors? This is an entirely vintage jacket. It is, I think it was custom made for like a little racer man. Um, definitely not made for a woman, but I'm making it work. Okay. Let me point out some details if you haven't already noticed. This is reflective piping. 
Okay, so yeah, the reflective piping and then these right here, you see their zippers with pockets? That's for protection. You put protection in these zippered pockets. It even has an inside pocket. And yeah, the reason why I think it's custom made is because I can't find any like branding tags on it anywhere. Look, you can see the actual machine stitching in this. This is just such a cool jacket. There's, I feel like there's nothing like it. I don't know what this is. It's like kind of hard and has structure on one side, but then soft and squishy on the other side. I noticed this um, this piece of leather in, that goes down the middle. It looks like it's a pocket. I'm guessing this is where like a spine protector would go, but it also like extends really far past the end of the jacket. So, I don't know, interesting design. The pants are entirely too small and my hips do not fit inside of it. So I am taking Lenora's advice to go take a bath with my leathers on to stretch it out and get it to fit my body perfectly. It's also gonna be a little short, like around my ankles, but I'll have boots to cover that anyway. So yeah, I'm very happy with this suit. Oh, I totally forgot this last jacket. I received it as a gift and I meant to do a re review on it because it is actually an incredible jacket. So um, I don't know the brand, HWK. It is, okay, I'll just tell you straight up what's incredible about it. It's $60, okay? So as I show you this jacket, remind yourself at every turn that this is a $60 jacket. You can order it on Amazon. Okay, so it's maybe not the cutest looking. It's not like the most flattering design, but it's $60 and it has a bunch of really cool features. Uh, I don't know, it's just like a very like feature filled, like checks all the boxes. This right here says air vent. You're supposed to zip it open for an air vent. Um, oh, another air vent here and uh, reflection. So yeah, I, I love this. I would spend my own $60 to make sure that anyone riding with me was safe. Um, approved. All right, I think that's it. I think I reviewed all my jackets. Yes, that's eight jackets. I'm very happy with all of them. Um, if I could only have one jacket, it would be the first jacket I got, the Alpine Stars um, Stella, like the mesh one, because I can always layer underneath it. I also love that it's super flattering for a woman's body. It, like, I look like a girl with that jacket on. I love it. And, it. and they came out with a new version of that jacket. If I didn't have that jacket, I would get the, the new version. Oh, another thing is I can wear that on the dirt. Uh, and I have been wearing it on the dirt. I can wear it on the street in the cold, hot, or in, on dirt. So it kind of checks all the boxes. I guess the um, my white Revit one could also do all of those things, but it's white. And I like black as my base color. The only thing I'm missing at this point is some like dirt gear. I'm not super familiar with what is best to wear, but I do know that I want to ride with all the optional gear <laughs> because I will hurt myself and I'm not, I'm not like into feeling pain really. I'm just, I'm into like taking risks and like having a good time without all the consequences. <laughs> and so I feel like gear can help me do all the crazy stuff I want to do on the dirt bike without paying for it as bad please come check me out on instagram although i feel like you guys are all from my instagram so hey thanks for the love thanks for the support thanks for the hype i'm here for it all i love i love this community and i'm just having fun so yeah
Let me know what you want to see next. Thank <music> you.